what I had come to recognize is that dyslexia is not just a severe reading disorder, but it's a syndrome affecting not only reading, but writing, spelling, math, memory, speech, sense of direction and time, concentration uh, functions are impaired, uh, overactivity, underactivity functions are also related. You have balance and coordination problems, psychosomatic symptoms. There's a whole slew of fears and phobias that are part and parcel of this syndrome. And this whole syndrome has a common denominator, and that is the inner ear. And the inner ear acts like the vertical and horizontal knobs on a television set. It fine tunes all motor, balance, and coordination functions on the outside, and that was always well known. It also fine tunes all sensory signals coming into the brain. Any animal only has an inner ear or a cerebellum, it has no thinking brain. And yet it coordinates all sensory signals. They communicate with one another. They have memory functions. So that basically, this is what the inner ear does. And just picture a bright person watching this channel. And the picture starts drifting and twisting and turning and blurring. And their eyes are jumping all over the place. They're going to have difficulty comprehending what's going on. Not because they have a primary comprehension problem, but because the signal scrambled.